you know that we have started this channel. by making vlogs about ornamental fish. And I would like to tell you that we're still on the go about the fish industry. Just yesterday, I loaded some hundreds of fish in the aquarium. You will know that this guppies are wild guppies. But these guppies are not that colorful compared to the fancy guppies that we raised in the aquarium. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. If you're thinking about a good business, well, you might as well consider the fish industry because the fish industry is one of the most lucrative businesses that you can engage into. And I'm referring to the tropical fish production. Well, you know that we have started this channel by making vlogs about our fish, ornamental fish. We have these mollies, we have these guppies, We have this betta fish. We have several types of goldfish. And we are into breeding Japanese koi. And I would like to tell you that we're still on the go about the fish industry. In fact, just yesterday, I loaded some hundreds of fish in the aquarium. And I am sure that you are very interested to know about the basics in the business of fish farming. Here's what you're gonna do. So guys, our business of breeding and selling this tropical fish, aquarium fish for that matter, is still a good source of income. And in fact, you can see here that we already have placed in here our tetra. And these are the color tetras that you can avail in our store. And aside from the tetras, we have the Oscars. We have here this uh, buffalo rancho. We have this bullhead of this goldfish and even the shrimps we have here. We have small shrimps and we have guppies actually. Breeding varieties of this kind of fish is actually a good business if you are into it of course. You can do or make money out of this because it will give you some babies. You are breeding this, they will, you know, just produce babies if they are taken care correctly. They will naturally produce babies. And then these babies are massive. One fish will actually produce more than a thousand. Imagine this tetra alone. One mother tetra can produce many fish. And if you are interested how to breed this one, of course you can just search how to breed tetras on my channel. You can see it. And we have so many videos also about breeding this Japanese koi, goldfish, many more. And this is where we became famous about the breeding of this tropical fish. When I first made a blog on YouTube, my content was actually on breeding of this tropical fish. 
And if you are just here in Zamboanga, you can visit our store and select good quality of fish that are already inside the aquarium. Our business here serves as the encouragement to many breeders here in the local. And in fact, I motivated some of our local breeders to breed their fish because there is a ready market. And some of them are actually selling their fish here in the store. And aside from I'm teaching them about how to breed, I also gave them some materials for breeding. And this is the kind of advocacy that I'm doing here in our locality. And as you can see here, we have this buffalo rancho. This buffalo rancho is one of the expensive fish that you might like to breed because a buffalo of this size will have a you know good market. Imagine one of this buffalo will be sold at 200 to 350 pesos, and this is already a cheap price considering that internationally this kind of fish is really very expensive as much as $100 per fish. So we are actually blessed here because we have so many backyard breeders. And one thing more about the fish, we have to understand that the fish would like to have their original habitat. And all these fish are raised from the mud pan or raised in the mud, in the soil. And this is the reason why we have to mimic the environment in the aquarium that would somehow have the same temperature and have the same environment in their original habitat. Like for instance, these guppies. You will know that these guppies are wild guppies. They are not even raised, but they are wild. They are nature here. So everywhere you can see guppies, but these guppies are not that colorful compared to the fancy guppies that we raised in the aquarium. But to tell you honestly, these fancy guppies and these wild guppies have their common instinct. They would like to live in the swampy area. And in fact, I have their black guppies at home that are thriving in the mud pond. And this is the reason why we need to put some heater inside the aquarium. Because if you can see here, the guppies are thriving, but the temperature is not that cold. Because at the bottom of this canal, it's warm that's why sometimes if the temperature inside the room is very cold we need the heater of your aquarium to prevent these fishes from contracting disease and this is very important and this is true to all fish for that matter this is true to the goldfish this is true to the japanese koi this is true to the flower horse the oscars they need to have a temperature like of the natural habitat in our future videos, I desire to raise tier fancy guppies, considering that we already have tested the waters and considering further that these guppies are thriving. They have the same temperature requirement. In short, this is a good indication already that in here we can raise plenty of guppies and that's gonna be the future content of our videos. Well, if you don't like to do business about ornamental fish, we can also do business about the tilapia and the African hito. These are fish that are consumable. And the market of this type of fish is also unlimited since we are eating them. And I would like to share with you that this can be bred naturally, meaning the tilapia can just be raised in one, you know, in one pond and you will enclose a net where the babies can just hide from the bigger ones so that they will not be devoured. So these are simple things that you can do for the tilapia. But if you are breeding your hito or this uh, catfish, well, I would like to say that they should be bred not in the mud pan because they can breed here naturally, but the production is so limited. Unlike if you are breeding them in a concrete pond where there is human you know, intervention about the fry care, about the egg culture, well, that makes the difference. You will really produce plenty. So you have the options whether to concentrate on the tilapia, concentrate on the hito, or concentrate on the breeding of this ornamental fish. And this has been my business for the past 20 years. As you know, we have this pet store 
and it's doing good. Well, these are the things that we can share so far and I hope that you will be encouraged to do your own thing. I'm just here to awaken your minds and to wake up the possibility of doing business by also doing your hobby. And if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos which are very informative and we are doing it on a regular basis. And of course, if you will subscribe, you will be notified of our regular uploads. So please subscribe now and see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World.